Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use um, text fields to display information in our label. So the same thing as the previous tutorial, open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and uh, select single view application. In this one, let's call it, um, let's call it text field um, tutorial. And again, use the storyboard and use automatic reference counting. And we're, again, we're not using the Git repository. I just create it on. I'll create it on my desktop. And from there, again, we go to our storyboard. We add in our label. I'm gonna add my label here and add a button. I'm gonna make my label a little bit bigger. So there's my label. And um, the thing that is different than in the last tutorial is we're also gonna add a text field. A text field allows the user to enter um, information in there. So we're gonna we're gonna get two of these. Actually, and we're also gonna use two buttons. So here's a button for this text field and here's a button for this text field. What this tutorial is going to show you is that when this the left button is clicked, whatever information is in the left text field will be displayed on the label. And when this button is clicked, whatever information is displayed in the right text field will be sh will be displayed on the label. So um, let's name our buttons. Let's call this one um, left button and let's call this one uh, double click the button. Let's call this one right button. Okay. Let me um, align it a little bit better. So here the UI elements that we have is a label, two buttons, call left button and right button two text fields. Um, you can also you can also add a placeholder text in here. Let's call it left text and here we'll call it right text. And we can we can run our um, project right now on an iPhone simulator again. So let's run it and see what it shows us right now. Okay. Let me put it where my um, okay. Where is my next code? Okay. All right. Oh, I see where it went. Give me one second, and here we go. Okay. Now clicking the left button doesn't do anything right now and clicking the right button doesn't do anything right now again. So we'll go to our assistant editor in order to make the connections. Let me, uh, I'll click the hide the utility so we have more room to work with because we don't need it anymore. So we have to connect five things. We have to connect this uh, left label. So again, click control, click and drag it into here and we'll call this left text field and it's an outlet the type is UI text field and the storage is weak and next we will do the same for the right text field click it control drag it in there we'll call it right text field and the type is a UI text field and the, We'll also do this for the label. Label is also an outlet. We'll call it display label. Type is UI label, storage is weak. And we need to also connect the two buttons so the application knows what happens when the button is clicked. 
So control drag it and remember to make the button an action, not an outlet. Name, we'll call it left button press. Type is ID, event touch up inside, argument sender. Same thing with the right button, control drag, make it an action, call this right button press, type ID, event touch up inside, argument sender, click connect. And again, we can mouse over to check all of our connections. Uh, left text field, right text field, display label, your left button, and your right button. So all the connections are there. We will go to our implementation files. Again, this is um, automatically generated. Automatically generated when we chose uh, single view applications. And these three are automatically generated for us when we did the connections. They generate the setters and getters. Um, you have your left text field, right text field, and display label. Your three outlets there. And your two methods are left button press and right button press. So what we're going to do now is when we have a left button press, the left button press will correspond to the left text field. And the right button press will correspond to the right text field. And what we're going to want to do is display whatever information onto our display label. So when the left button is pressed, let's do left text field dot text. Um, actually, let me delete that. Let's do display label dot text equals left text field dot text. And when we press the right button. Let's do display label dot text equals right text field dot text. All right, let's um, that's all the code that we need. So let's let's run it and see what happens. Running it on our iPhone simulator again. Um, left button, when we press it, nothing happens. I mean, the text disappears because there's nothing there. Same thing with right button. Now let's type something in. Left text field, let's type in ABC. Hit the left button. Oh, ABC is here, hidden underneath the keyboard. Notice the keyboard doesn't go away. And we're gonna, work, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it right now. So there's that, right button is gone. Okay, so now we need to get rid of this keyboard. This keyboard's kind of a pain to get rid of, but I'll show you how to get rid of that. So in our dot .h, viewcontroller.h, let me hide the, the editor so you don't get confused. In our viewcontroller.h, we need to add this right here. This text field delegate method called um, UI text field delegate. You need to add this at the end of your um, at the end of your interface line, right after um, view controller. It's a subclass of UI view controller. You need to add a UI text field delegate, and in your implementation file, your view controller.m, you have to add one method. You have to say um, start typing text field. And then go to the method that says text field should return. So text field should return. And then from there, just um, return text return brackets text field resign first responder. So what's happening is in the text in the text field. When the return, when the return, um, when the return button is pressed, it's gonna resign the the keyboard. Okay, so let's save it, run it, and see what happens. Okay. So.
So now we're relaunching it in the left text field. Let's type R A B C. Actually, let's type R A B C again, and then um, hit return. And um, oh, I forgot to set one thing. Um, in our view, did load. We also have to um, set our delegate. So left text field dot delegate equal self actually self dot left text view dot delegate equals self and also self dot right text view dot delegate equals self so you need this in order for the for this text view should return method to work again um, let's run it okay um, a z c um, click return. Now the keyboard goes away. Uh, press the left button. Says A Z C. Now let's say, right R I G H T. Again, we hit return. It goes away. Now you can click right button, and it says right. And click left button, and it says A Z C. So that's the end of this tutorial. So I think the tricky thing in this one is you have to. Um, don't forget to add the UI text field delegate um, right here at the end of your at the end of your um, view controller dot h, and don't forget to set the the delegate to the left text field and right text field in your view did load method, and don't forget to add this method text field should return which will dismiss the keyboard, and these two are just um, what happens when you click the left button and what happens when you click the right button alright so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching again and um, hope you like it